Peace and love. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Peace and love. 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 Alright, Thanksgiving coming, nigga, ain't nobody safe I'm going there, everybody quick to get a plate I'm skipping on the line, they like, look at K Trying to go again, nigga just ate K Stop being thirsty, let the kids eat first Get the fuck up on my face for somebody get hurt Fuck these kids, then I touch these ribs So I'm going up the wall like Humpty did Hungry as a bitch, think I'm waiting for him? No Eating four times and I'm taking something to go My uncle got a problem, we gon' take it to the flow I Used to whip my ass, but now I break a nigga Joe for my Please, 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 please
my mother. My mother worked really, really hard. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But at the same time, I saw drugs. I had aunties and uncles mm-hmm. and, you know, was in the dope game. Right. And, you know what I'm saying? Doing their thing or whatever. Right, so, right, right. You know what I'm saying? But for the most part, I had a good life. You know Understood. what I'm saying? Moms work really hard and pops too. So Understood. Uh, yeah, I was about to ask you. You kind of left out pops. I know. Like, yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hold up. What's going <laughs> yeah. on? So that so you so long so, so you grew up in a house with both parents? Um, for a period of time, yeah. yeah. My parents, um, they split up. I could I can't give you the exact age. I believe it was like maybe I was twelve and then they got a divorce when I was like fourteen. Uh huh. And then there was a period when Pops was, you know, out of the house and incarcerated for a couple of years or whatever too. So, okay. But yeah. Oh, so Pops was out there thugging yeah. doing this little thing too, man. Yeah. That's I'm, you got any siblings? Yeah. I do. I have two brothers. Two brothers? I'm the oldest. Oh, you the oldest, so you got yeah. two little brothers. Yeah, and two what little was, big brothers. What uh, what was that like? <laughs> Having two little big well, brothers, you're the only girl. You know what? I was very, very protective of my baby brother. Yeah. My uh, other brother, he's in the middle of us. Uh-huh. And so we actually didn't learn or we didn't find out about him until a later time in uh, life when we were actually adults. You know wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, wait. Okay. Wait. So Pops had one outside of. Yes. Okay. So yes. Okay. Yes. Understood. Yes. Got you. Yes. And then you find out yeah. later on. Yeah. Okay. Got yeah. it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I basically grew up with my baby brother. Uh You know what I'm saying? And then my uh, other brother, still getting to know him. You know what I'm saying? He got, I got nieces and nephews. Yeah. Me and my other brother, we don't have no children or whatever. So, you know, but just very protective. Very protective of my baby brother. Of your baby brother. Yes, sir. I got you. I got you. What's the the age gap? Five years. Five years. And then three. And then three with the middle. Yeah. Oh, that's good. So you probably, you, you probably a little bossy. What you mean? Because you, you was the oldest, right? <laughs> well, not necessarily. He was, he was very, very, he thought he was my daddy. Uh, so he was real protective over he you. He was protective okay. over me as well. well. I like they was protective, protective of protective. each other. You better like, not touch yeah. none of them. Yeah, yeah. I used to fight. Like, don't touch my baby brother. Understood. Okay. <laughs> show no, show no. Growing up in Compton, right? What school with Junior? What, what school did you go to? I went to uh, Mark Twain. Okay. I went to Vanguard. And then I went to Centennial for oh, two years. Oh, she a real years. Compton baby. For I, went, real. <laughs> I went to Centennial for two years. Mm-hmm. And then we ended up moving to Long Beach. And I finished out high school in Lo- at Long Beach, Jordan. At Long Beach, Jordan. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. Yep. So you went from Compton to Long Beach. Yes, you moved sir. to Long Beach? Yes. Mm, what was that, how what was that like? Um, it was different. You know what I'm saying? That the 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 total switch. I really didn't have no friends. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it was cool though. You know, I mean, what I'm it, it was mellow. It was they, a little mellow. That's right next door. So was it was it that much of a? Only because I wasn't in the like the vicinity of company anymore, and then like around my friends, and you know what I'm saying. Understood. I didn't get to graduate with them. We didn't go to prom together. So I was more or less. I had like maybe like three. I had a boyfriend, uh-huh. and then I had like two friends at, at Jordan, at Jordan, at yeah. Long Beach, Jordan. Yeah, mm. okay. I, I know it's the ten was Centennial, man. What was it? It was Gladiator School then when you was there, or what? What was going on at the ten when you was there? <laughs> the ten, you know what? You know what? The ten was. <sighs> my memory ain't all that great, but the ten was. It was cool. You know what I'm saying? We didn't really have a lot of. We had fights. Mm-hmm. I was like, we had fights. We had fights, or you had nah, fights. Nah, I'm not a fighter though. You <laughs> okay, know what got you. No, I'm I had a lover. To get it. Like, say you know what I'm saying? Like, you know? I'm a lover, uh-huh. straight up. But back in the day, though, you know, like, no, but no. Oh, I'm a lover see. though. <laughs> I'm just Jeez. kidding. I never really had no fights. Got you. Understood. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, it was it was cool. You know what I'm saying? We got along for the most part. Everybody, everybody. Of course, you got your cliques. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But it was cool for the most part. Yeah. And then you finished off at Jordan. That's where you graduated from? Yes, sir. Did you end up going to any college after that or anything? I just did um, trade. I did cosmetology. Um, I went back and got my um so she know how to do hair yeah i know how to do hair oh, okay. um, i'm a life coach she, i'm a certified a, yoga okay. instructor okay. you know what i'm saying like you just pull up to you and get your whole life right you know what i'm talking about yeah <laughs> you know what I'm saying? yeah yeah peace and love podcast you, you know what i'm saying <laughs> I and I'm too, but you know what I'm saying? You can Just get your shake. As a matter of fact, hit me with it. let me see one of them, man. I'm gonna get to why you're here. Look, for sure, I'm an artist. Sure. This is why she's really here, y'all. Y'all see the shea butter, man. She got her own shea butter. Yeah. You know? So please let. I want to. Yeah, I want to get an introduction. Into you know what I'm saying? Most black people don't understand. You know, we thought growing up that 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 if you had a. Uh, if you had Johnson & Johnson products, you was doing pretty good. <laughs> if you had a baby lotion, you was doing good. You put some baby powder on. Yeah. And as you get older, you feel that like... baby magic. It, yeah. Even even Vaseline, right? right. Growing up, you might have that Vaseline on and all that. Looking and like you, a wet seal. Exactly. 
And as you get older, you start to realize how your pores work Absolutely. and how your sweat glands work and all that good stuff. Yes. What, what happens is when things are too thick, mm -hmm. it clogs up your pores and it causes you to break out and things like that, right? Yes. It took me a while to learn. When I went to Howard, it was so much black love and all that. All the women just was wearing shea butter. Yes, that's it. Mm -hmm. Shea butter, shea butter got some. Shea butter and black love go together. They go together. Yes, okay, sir. shea yes, butter sir. and black love. So when you, <laughs> if black love and shea butter, they go. They go Listen, hand in hand, baby. Absolutely. Listen, you ain't yeah. in a real relationship if you ain't if you ain't made love with shea butter on. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So you got to make love with your shea you business. You got to get sweaty with the shea butter. You know what I'm right. talking about? Yeah. It's a whole different smell up in there. You know what I'm talking about? Right. So y'all know where to get y'all shea butter from. Well, yeah, as a matter of fact, you didn't tell them your answer. Where they work real quick. Where can they find yeah, it? Yeah. My shea butter, you yeah. can go to Whipped by Shea. That's um, my Instagram handle, Whipped by Shea. And then also the website is shea, Shea'sButterBaby.com. That's S H A Y S. It's like butter, B A B E. Yes, yeah, sweet like honey and smooth like butter. Ooh. Baby B A B E dot com. So let me ask, how, how, yeah, how, 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 did, how did you, yeah. how, how did you, you go from, from cosmetology to yeah? Well, you or was know, it that you went from cosmetology, yoga, life, and then shea butter? How does order work? Well, not necessarily. I mean, it's uh, all a part of the process. So when you learning who yeah. you are and you learning your abilities, yeah. and you learning the gifts that you have, and you are accepting the things that are given to you, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Then you, it's a, it's a culmination of a whole bunch of stuff until you finally find that mix and what really really works for you. So gotcha. I still do my yoga. You know yep. what I'm saying? Still doing. I do live. Meditation. Meditations Monday morning on Facebook six a.m. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying with my crystal singing bowls. Oh damn! You know what I'm saying I'm still in the morning, yeah. I'm man. still I'm like still you know asleep. what I'm saying, culminating a whole bunch of you know. I'm cultivating me. Yeah. In the becoming. So and then with the shea butter, you know what I'm saying? Like I think I was on YouTube one day okay. and I was like, let me try this. You know what I'm saying? Then I got to mixing right. and I was like wait a minute this is good and I got to using some essential oils then I got to using some perfumes you know what I'm saying so and then I came up with a recipe and I was like ma bruh neighbors try this and it was like oh my god I need some more so it was just like bam so you yeah. wait a minute hold on yeah. time out we gotta step take two steps back all right so you just randomly created this recipe yes wait, that's so my recipe so you just woke up and said, I'm going to put this and this together. Or where did you get the whole, something come from somewhere? Well, that's what I'm saying. I went on YouTube and I saw okay. it. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So, of course, you know, they mixing their thing and they YouTube. doing it. They, you know, YouTube. YouTube Man, you can learn anything in YouTube. Anything uh -huh. from YouTube. Goodness you know what I'm right? saying? You can learn how to sew. You can learn how to do hair. You can learn how to fix the car. You can learn how to... To right. Fix the plumbing, learn how to cook a brick on, on that mess. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I even have a YouTube channel, Healing Moments, by the way. Come on, man. Um, Healing so, Moments. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and I just came up with my recipe to where it's not too strong, something that's soft. You put it in your hands, just melt. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes yeah. with the shea butter, you kind of got to work it a little bit, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. to get it. But with this right here particular mixture, you just put it in your hands, rub it together, and it's real. It's just melt like butter. And wh where did the whole shea butter idea come from? Was you using shea butter prior to? Or yes. you just Okay, you, what you got tired lover. of using everybody else's product, or what was it? You, I, I knew I could make my own. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I knew I could make my own. So I was like, let me get in the lab. Let me whip it together. Let me measure it out. You know what I'm saying? Get the ingredients and get what I need. I think that's what, you know what? She just hit on something, right? A lot of people lack, a lot of people got talent, but they lack self-confidence, right? So she, she was, I just, I admire when I see people that's not scared. Yeah. To go out on a limb and just say, hey, you know what? I can do this on my own. If if this person could do it, why the hell can I do it? Absolutely. If this person could make an iPhone, what makes you think I can't do it? Right. If Obama could be the president, what makes you think I can't be the goddamn president? Right. That's I think fact. that's how some people, well, I think that's the mind frame majority of people should be in, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. I like the whole entrepreneurship and, mm -hmm. you know, and just the fact that, you know within yourself that you can do this shit too. Absolutely. It's just about staying consistent, you know? Absolutely. It's that's, about staying consistent. That's what it really is. Yeah. But um you said you always been using shea butter. Always. Well not always, always, but mm -hmm. as I got older, yes. Yeah. As you got older. Mm -hmm. Now who put who, who put you on shea butter? I couldn't even tell you who put me on shea butter. What was you using before shea butter? Baby Probably magic lotion. Probably lotion and some oil. Oh. <laughs> and some Vaseline. Uh, 
S of oil and some Vaseline. Yeah. Is it just shea butter that you got on the website or what else? What else? Do- well, on the website right now, it's yep. just shea butter and then also two meditations. Me- now, how you- okay, now when you say meditations, mm-hmm. you mean bust that down. So I offer my services of either doing like, so say like, okay, so with my YouTube channel, uh-huh. Healing Moments, I have meditations on there and then i also would like to offer so like if people want personal uh meditations okay. whether you want it with the singing bowls whether you want it live and in person or whatever the case may be you can hit me up tell me what you need and tell me what you're looking for in the meditation and then i'll put it together for you now when you say what you need and what you're looking for in the mm-hmm. meditation so wait a minute because mm-hmm. so okay what is can you give the people your def? what is meditation what is meditating Ooh. What is it? To me, meditation is a way for you to sit in the essence of who you are. Let me elaborate a little bit more. Explain. So a lot of people, and it takes time, don't get me wrong, but in the meditation, you allow yourself to sit in the stillness and you allow yourself to connect to who you are. You allow yourself to connect to the divine that is within you. You allow yourself to connect and get those downloads to get those My ideas to go ahead <laughs> to My go ahead no and start that shape butter line okay. to go ahead and start the meditations okay. you know what i'm saying so go ahead and go ahead and get your certification love, right? go ahead to work through your your, your, your insecurities mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying Because it didn't happen overnight You uh-huh. know what I'm saying I had to work through My own insecurities I had to put down What I thought Other people How they felt about me And really really Embed that in me mm-hmm. Embed that strength And that courage And that wisdom To understand and know that Whoever Or has come before me mm-hmm. If they did it I can do it as well Understood. You know what I'm saying So right. in the meditation You begin to Strengthen yourself. You begin to hear yourself. You begin to hear God, you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. speak to you and tell you things that you need to let go of and all that good stuff. But there's an essence inside of you. Your soul is mm-hmm. wanting to speak to you. It's wanting to get rid of certain things and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So that's meditation to me. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. You she know what I'm saying? Said, that's meditation to me. <laughs> God damn, she broke it down. <laughs> so, okay, so. And in that process of you meditating, you sitting with yourself, you learning yourself, you understanding yourself, you you come into who you really are. Mm-hmm. What does that process look like? Because I was always thought taught that meditation was just you sit there mm-hmm. and you think, you think, you think mm-hmm. until you come to an empty mind mm-hmm. and you, you, you come to your peace that way. Mm-hmm. Right. So when you meditate, meditating it seemed like it obviously helped you come to the space you in now yeah like what is that process like what are you doing when you actually sitting there and you know because some people you know growing up I, you know i thought it was a joke i watched uh um what's my uh tina turner on us she's not one of the other you know all that type you know i'm i'm just clowning (laughs) you know so what does that process look like are you thinking when your eyes are closed or what exactly are you doing just depending on what's really going on because sometimes too when your mind is like really really active yep it's gonna take a minute for you to get them thoughts out your head Mm -hmm. but however when those thoughts come to you a lot of times it's not to really just force you out of thinking it's just to bring you to a a resonance it's just to bring you back to self you know what i'm saying uh, so okay with it it looks different for everybody you know what i'm saying and it's not pretty like once you really look in within you and you look mm-hmm. at the stuff that you holding on to and you look at the stuff that that you don't like about yourself because the 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 journey is not about nobody else the journey is about you right you know what i'm saying the self-love and the motivation mm-hmm. is all about you right. we like to blame other people and we like to to think is somebody else, but a lot of times it's self. Let me ask you this. Yes. For somebody who's um okay, if if we if we if we go back to to you, you said something about crystals. Yes. I know that's really big. Did I say the, something about crystals? Yes, you, you did. You mentioned crystals. You said you meditate and you do it with the crystals. You sure did. Right. Are you serious? Yeah. I that? Yes, you said you all of that. Okay, go you're gonna have to go back and play it back and realize that you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> but so what and, yep. and, and I got into studying the crystals uh-huh. very very powerful yes. um but what I will say what I tell people all the time is it's like you got to have a solid foundation you got to have a spiritual connection mm-hmm. to even tap into the crystals to me to mm-hmm. my understanding mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you can't just come into it without knowing who God is right. and try to pick up some crystals and get it popping right because it's 
because it's still powerful. But I feel like you could be playing with power that you're not you're not really familiar with. Absolutely. For somebody who's not, let's say somebody who doesn't know, you know, how to pray, how nothing about the crystals, anything. How, how do you get started in meditation? Let's Ooh. say somebody who doesn't know anything about it, but they want to get started. Okay. How do you how do you do it? How do you get started doing meditation? Basically, well, what I would really ask them if if they were to come to me and ask me, my main concern would be, what is it that you are looking for? Mm -hmm. What is it that you are seeking? What is it that you want? And what is it that you want to know? Okay. See, because you, we have to be able to reciprocate and we have to be able to ask and we have to be able to communicate. In meditation as well, you can ask for the things that you need. However, if you are not paying attention to the signs and the wonders that are coming to you, then you happen to miss it. But don't get me wrong. Don't get me misconstrued that everything happens when it's supposed to and how it's supposed to in our lives. But I would definitely, you know what I'm saying? Like, it has to be like, okay, what are you looking for? What are you seeking? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Those those type of things. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And it's, it's a lot of times when, when we think uh, uh, meditation, they say stillness yes. and being quiet. Mm -hmm. how, how would you... Break that down to somebody who don't know what that means. So, okay, I'll give you, I don't remember where I got this from, but think of the ocean. Okay. So on the top, it's waves crashing, going, doing their thing, going with the motion, going mm -hmm. with the flow. Underneath. You got sharks and all that type of shit down there. <laughs> but it's still shit, quiet. Down there. It's but peaceful. it's still peaceful. Okay. It ain't the ripples. It ain't, it's it ain't, no rage. It ain't no peaceful waves. for that shark food. <laughs> right. So within you, there's a stillness that you're able to tap into. So you're okay, so you're comparing, you're using the, the ocean yeah. as a comparison to our bodies. Yes. So you can be could be a lot going on on the surface but right. if you if you tap into it you could be peaceful and, and yes. calm okay I, mean, I can i can dig that let me ask you yes now so what because i'm trying to figure out what could because you, you got people that you said like you got people if they come to you for your service they're looking for different things when it comes to meditation mm -hmm. Could you name certain things that people like different things that people would be, would be looking for? Because I, I would think that ultimately you looking for peace or everybody would be looking for peace within. Yeah. That's okay. So what are those multiple things that they could be possibly looking for? Yeah, can I come if I'm looking for a girl? Like if I'm looking for a bad one? You know <laughs> yeah, what I'm saying? like is it something like that or what you do? <laughs> I'm looking for somebody with a fatty. Can yeah, I come yeah, get, get straight? You know what I'm saying? How do no. I do that? Oh, yeah, you say, uh, okay, meditate, I'm trying to get a million dollars. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I need your help. How, what? Did you put the whoop on it and get me straight? It's layers to it. You know what I'm saying? It's okay. layers because, so in the midst of you putting down, in the midst of you wanting peace, mm -hmm. there's something that you're going to have to give up. So if you got chaos going on in your life, then you're going to have to give up the chaos in order to get the peace. And it's going to take time. You know what I'm saying? Because you have to realize and understand what is causing the chaos. Is it me allowing the chaos? Or is it somebody just really, really causing me chaos? Like, they don't mean me no good. And that comes with, again, we have to be honest with ourselves. Mm -hmm. You have to be able to communicate. Mm -hmm. And then a lot of times, too, that's a fact. We, we don't really know what we're made of. And so being wondrous and being curious and not judgmental mm -hmm. about digging into your own crate digging into your like your astrology and mm -hmm. all that good stuff not being afraid mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying because when you can tap into like your even your ancestry when you can tap into okay i come from a lineage of alcoholism mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying not saying that i do but i'm just saying giving you an instance mm -hmm. and you can wonder why that is following generation after generation after generation until you catch it. Mm -hmm. You'll be like, no, I ain't got to. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got to do that. You know what I'm saying? I can handle the situation. I can talk about what needs to be talked about. Mm -hmm. I can let go of what needs to be let go of. I can pick up what I need, whether it's more love, whether it's more joy, whether it's more compassion for myself and let the, let the rest gravitate to me. So basically what I'm getting is when you say – it depends on what you're looking for. You're referring to whatever your situation is because everybody's situation it's is different. different. Yeah. So basically what you're saying is whatever you got to give up to, to get to your goal, yes. which would hopefully would be peace, yeah. everybody has to give up certain things Yes. To, to, to exit, to get the chaos out of your life. Absolutely. Got and you're, you would have to be honest enough. Strong enough and wise enough, but know that it takes time. 
Right. It takes time, and you really have to be willing to look at self. Like, I'm big on affirmations. Mm -hmm. I'm big on, I didn't have self-love for myself. You Mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It took me a long time to get here. Mm -hmm. It took me a long time to really understand and know what I deserve in this life. What is my natural birthright? You understand? Mm -hmm. We're naturally abundant. abundant. Mm -hmm. Naturally, it's our birthright. You know what I'm saying? We all have gifts. It's our birthright. You know what I'm saying? So, being able to tap into that, being able to go ahead and build yourself up Mm -hmm. in the strength of knowing who you are. Now, how it looks for, because it's a lot of people, I'm sure, right now, that just going through issues that you may have went through in the past, mm-hmm. right? You you had to come to loving yourself mm-hmm. and just accepting who you are and everything. Yeah. What does that process look like? How do you, mm-hmm. what do you tell a woman that's going through that right now? How do you even start to heal? Well, I would say for a woman or even a man that's starting to heal and wanting to heal. Yeah, it's not just about the women, too. Yeah, it's fellas out here. Yes. You know, it's it's about taking, being patient with yourself. And I would definitely tell you to get a journal. You know what I'm saying? And Mm -hmm. write stuff out. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times we hold on to so So put your Let your thoughts go. Let them go. That's okay. Let them go. You Mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? You got to let them go. And then really really look at self it, it's time to reflect inward and not outward because we give so much of ourselves away mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying relationships jobs and other kind of stuff when you turn that back in mm-hmm. words also too you'll find the sovereignty that is within you mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying like i'm special you know what i'm saying right i'm special as well as you right so it's like yeah. when you so you say you recommend finding an outlet to pretty much express yourself absolutely if you feel like you can't talk to nobody or if you quote unquote too embarrassed to get counseling like she said you can get you a journal diary whatever you want to call it and just write all your thoughts out on paper and release it that way is what i'm getting from what you said absolutely yes as well as exercising and Mm -hmm. stuff like that you know what i'm saying you have to go into different avenues and really really find out what works for you find out what makes you happy because if you're in you're in the process of healing and letting stuff go you must pick up something that's going to replace the things that you're trying to let go of because if you continue to sit and dwell in the negativity or whatever Mm -hmm. the heartbreak or whatever it is yep. then you're not gonna do nothing but pick up more of it and you're like well why 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 because you're not focusing on getting out of it mm-hmm. you stay in there you don't have to stay in it that's a choice would you say because when you working on when you say when you're in that stage and you're in that process of working on you and mm-hmm. figuring that out you got a lot of people like just just women in general that's in that same situation and they're trying to work their way out of it mm-hmm. but they still continue with let's say the relationship that they have Mm -hmm. with whoever Mm -hmm. is, is is there ever a time to where you just have to shed everything off and focus on yourself or could you do both at the same time? Could you focus on your relationship and yourself at the same time? It depends. It -hmm. depends because I would say it depends on the relationship. It depends on the individual, Mm -hmm. you know, if the individual really, really just needs to like, okay, it's not you. It's me. You know Mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And if you have a partner that's willing to let you do you, Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And respect that, then, you know, you, you can cut everything off, but it, healing looks different for everybody. For everybody. It looks different for everybody. Gotcha. And it's not pretty. You know what I'm saying? It's plenty of out there healing puts crying, some shape, but You know what I'm saying? Heal that aromatherapy. You know you what I'm saying? Yeah. Shape, let's I let's get to that. Playing. How did you go from... from, from you dig. Oh, you got it. You, yeah. how, how did you go from, you know, getting centered and, and, and finding yourself and getting in touch with yourself to creating your own shea butter? This was probably a part. Was this a part of the process? I'm getting. You can say it's a part of the process. Did you find out like I'm 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 too this beautiful to put this lotion on or what? <laughs> what, what? What happened? Are this no, the results see, of the process? That, that's that's the results of the process. You okay. know what I'm saying? Because also too, in the process of understanding who you are, in the process of learning, in the process of the self love, again, you tap in to who you are. You tap into your abilities to create. You, you tap in your abilities of going that's ahead going and putting it. stuff together. You know what I'm saying? You tap into your wellness. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You tap into the your abundance. Right. You know what I'm saying? You tap into it. And mm-hmm. it's like, it's okay. okay. You can have it. It is yours. You can have it. It's so So bad. you go from you tapped in. Yeah. And yeah. then you went on YouTube like I'm a I'm a figure this out. <laughs> I, I'm trying to figure out how do you go from 
<laughs> I'm putting on Jergens too. I'm making my own shea butter. Well, let me see. Let me see if I can. Let me see if I can answer that for her, right? Because this is what I get from it. Go ahead. After she went through her process, you learn. You, you there's a whole new level of confidence that you get once you come out of that. Ah, uh, so you feel like you can there's, do anything. Yeah, there's yeah. a whole new level of everything. When That's you look right. at yourself in the mirror, it changes. Yeah. You look at like I can do what I want to do. Okay. I can do anything. That I put my mind to. That's it. That's it's just a matter of yeah. actually doing it. So like when you it. come out that process, it's just now um, do it. It's yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? Then you got somebody backing you up. You got people supporting you, making sure, you know what I'm saying? You asking, reaching out to those that you can trust. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And, and you have people that support you genuinely. Mm -hmm. Genuinely, yeah. you will have people and that And real quick, you. you just because you might not see anybody supporting you in the beginning, but yeah. trust and believe. Mm -hmm. It's There's like people that will come along the way yeah. and that, that you don't even know, yeah. that you don't have a clue about that's willing to support. Yeah. yeah you funny. know? Because yeah. some people can relate to your story. Absolutely. Yeah. And when people see you helping yourself, they don't mind coming to help you, but you got to help yourself first. That's right. And then be open. You know what I'm saying? Right. Be open. We see you got a couple... We got about five different canisters here. Yeah. Can you explain to the people? Because I've only seen the regular shape, the the, the yellow one. Mm -hmm. That's the one I get. Mm -hmm. I never seen all of these. Yeah. So what? What? Free. Yeah. Free what exactly coconut. are these shea butters here that you have? So they are. It's um. It's a mixture of coconut oil and shea butter. Okay. So I do have with it's one, African shea butter. Yeah, African shea butter. One hundred percent. It's the, uh, ivory. African. Ivory grade. <laughs> and um, I have original <laughs> scent for like sensitive skin. You can also put it in your hair as well. Okay. Um, and then I have mellow melons. I might get rid of that one and come up with a different one for that one. Why well, you don't like get rid of it? It stinks. Only because no, it don't stink. But I the other let one me sells. These ones sells more get rid of than it. the other one. Wait, how you open this? That one is kind of tough. Oh, it's strapped here. down. <laughs> Damn. She ain't playing. But, um, and it's then I have pink cashmere. Melon. That is more kind of on the soft side and it's more perfumey. And then I have aromatherapy okay. with um, lemongrass essential oils and peppermint essential oil, which is very, very beneficial. It helps with anxiety, it helps with depression. It's the antibacterial, anti fungal. Flungo. I think I said that right. Fungi. Oh, that's my <laughs> Yeah, so. This is another one. Fellas, that's check this out. If you, you, your girl got this on Ooh. and it's going down Ooh. and she gets to sweating, boy, this is, this, the room is going to smell incredible. <laughs> <Stupid>. <laughs> hey, let me ask you a quick question. I don't mean to, yes. uh, I want to shift real quick, real yeah. quick. What's the difference between meditating and yoga? Oh, so you know what? That's a good question. It's, um, I would say, like I said, there's different types of meditation. Peace peace and. Peace and peace. I would just say more or less yoga is designed to help you get in get in tune with your body. You know what I'm saying? It helps you stretch out. It helps you release um, blocked emotions. It helps you release. It helps you breathe. It helps you allow new energy to come within because with the stretching and the breathing of the yoga and mm -hmm. the different poses, that helps you release. So basically, yoga, you saying you you just releasing energy. Yeah, you're releasing energy. You're, you're releasing, releasing uh, old energy and allowing new energy to come in. Okay, and then it is meditating along that lines too. Part of that process is in within meditating, or no? I, I would say yes. Mm -hmm. I would say yes because the again, yoga is designed to is designed to meet you where you are. A lot of people say I can't do yoga, and I try to do yoga. No, you're trying to go along with the rest of the class. Yoga is designed for you to meet. It's designed to meet you where you are. So if you're not able to do all those stretches and stuff like that, you're supposed to be able to do what you can and ask for like uh, modification. You know what I'm saying? So modifications is if you're trying to do yoga and whatever style or whatever stretch or whatever they have, you can't do it. So you ask for a modification. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's part. So you do the yoga too. You got the yoga service and all that too. Yes. Okay. So y'all hear that, right? <laughs> you get your shea butter, which is what you do. You rub your body down with your shea butter, then you go meditate and do yoga at the same time. At the same time. Triple entendre. <laughs> Come on, man. Y'all hear what it is. You see the shea butter. I got a quick yes. question for y'all. Yes. This for everybody. Did y'all see what Judge Joe Brown said? No. What'd he say? No. Basically, long story short, he had a pro he has a problem with the idea of Harriet Tubman being on a $20 bill before a black man. Wow. So he, he he's saying that. I don't know if the clip, I don't know if you can find it, right? We finna find it. You right got now. you got you it, gotta listen it. to this. You know what? I can't yes. I can't completely I feel like his his statement was taken out of context for sure. No, no, no. You but heard it? I heard it. I heard oh, it. Oh, his statement was crazy. I can't, the, I can't completely disagree. Though, I know they take okay, stuff look. Okay, oh, so we're going to find it. Fine, let's see if we can find it. 
<laughs> yeah, let's see. I know, I know the breakfast. They got the Breakfast Club posted a clip of it, but even just that clip is kind of like. I think it's enough to, like, okay, you tripping, bro? <laughs> watch if he watch when he find it, man. Oh God, let's I didn't hear it. Yeah, it's 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 it. I hear what he's saying. It's not complete. It's it's off the wall. He's wrong for saying what he said. Mm -hmm. I don't you think he, he didn't formulate it the right way. Okay. But I understand the idea of what he's saying. Mm -hmm. How you stick this back on? Oh, it ain't sticking no more. I need something to stick. What you stick this with? Some glue. Glue. Yeah. Bam! I bought it. Oh, she crucial. And could you let the people know where they can go and support and, and buy this stuff at? Absolutely. Um, it's Shay'sButterBaby.com. S-H-A-Y-S, Butter, B-U-T-T-E-R, Baby, B-A-B-E.com. I actually Shay's have butter. a sale going on right now, too. Black and it's Black Friday, Business you know Week right now. Black Business Week. You know what I'm saying? Black support Friday, Black Business. Early. Absolutely. She got you many of flavors. Tropical Beach, Lemon Mint. And they smell divine. They smell divine. Mellow. Fellas, trust me. I'm yes. telling you. Mellow Melons. Yeah, they, yeah, we got some. Um, also, too, if you guys want to find me on um, Instagram. Okay, oh, so I'm sorry. You good love. Okay, so again, we'll put that in the comments if you guys want. We'll put all the descriptions and everything in there. Make sure you guys go support. This is what Judge Joe Brown said about Harriet Tubman being put on a dollar bill before a black man being yep. put on a dollar bill. All right, uh, y'all check this out. Listen to him. Here we go. Let's see. <laughs> I don't give a goddamn about feminists. They can go straight to hell, and I know they hate themselves because they got two X chromosomes instead of an XY. They are fraudulent, self-hating, and they're sick. These feminists are trying to do this movie so they can get a black woman put on a $20 bill. They can't get a white woman, so they want a black woman. They don't care. They just want a woman, and it downs masculinity. We've got Ben Franklin, so we can have Frederick Douglass. Sounds like he bumped his head or something. I don't know. What. <laughs> Peace of love. Peace of love. What y'all think what, about that? Man? What's your take on so it? You said you, you you feel so like look, they took him. He it was taken not, out of context. I feel like this, man. I understand what he's saying. It's a lot of black men that's done put in a lot of work okay. for the civil rights movement, beyond the civil rights movement, but for for every for for at any at any mark in history, uh -huh. we can look at black men just the same way we can look at black women. Uh -huh. Now I'm not gonna say. Cause it's almost like he put he pit us against each other, and I, that's a that's a rough fight. I don't want to fight that fight. Okay. Nah. You know what I'm saying? But I, I do. I, <laughs> we need each other. <laughs> we right. need each other, right? Right. That's a fact. right. But what I will say, I understand what he's saying. If we gonna have the first, I don't believe that the you know the the, the race is supported by its men, and I, I understand what he's saying. But if we look, if we look at all the dollars, right? It's all white boys on the dollars, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right now, if we go if we go switch it over, we should have a black man on a dollar too. I understand we don't have to have Harriet, but we should have what it did. She get the twenty, we should get the fifty, or we should get the ten, or we should get the something. You know what I'm so, saying? But okay, but see, you switched it up, right? So it's not about what we should get to. We speaking though how you feel about her, the idea of her being on the twenty. Harriet Tubman, my idea. Look, I love it. I I, I love it too. I, I feel like. Though the statements that he made from what I heard, mm -hmm. I didn't hear the whole entire interview because it was a phone interview. Right, but right. from what I heard, I feel like he was completely wrong. He was right. big mad. Right. He was yeah, he was completely <laughs> wrong. Uh -huh. And uh obviously he's a he's a male chauvinist. I, I'm like if you feel that way, then Some of them feminists do be tripping though. This bro. this what I say, bro. This is how I look at it. And I, I'm not agreeing with Judge Brown again. All of, if, all, if all of the black men that was next to Harriet Tubman stood up, then she wouldn't have to do what she did. But we don't know. And I'm sure it was some brothers that stood up because she's not the only person that was rescuing slaves on the Underground Railroad. I'm sure, but you had a lot of buster niggas that wasn't with it. That's a fact. There was some, but there was some busters out oh there. Straight truth parts. is the truth. But I guarantee you, oh, Harriet Mass wasn't the only. It was some brothers out there doing the same thing. That's a yeah. fact. But so they, we know but, Nat Turner was with it with all with all the turn up for yes. show for show. But they wasn't popping hard like Harriet Tubman. Nat Turner, Harriet Tubman, who else? What other men? Nice. It's it's more. I'm sure there's more of that. Absolutely. We gotta look at who documents history. Who who right. like. Rosa Parks, she wasn't the first person to to. And Judge Joe Brown went in on that. He said Rosa Parks gets credited for not standing up, but Jackie Robinson did that ten years before when he was in the, got got into the the baseball league. But it's not about the first; it's about who got the most impact. That's just like this: your favorite rapper is Jay Z, but it's not the person that it's not the very first rapper that came about. You he, can't he even right. remember the first rapper. That ain't your favorite rapper. It's about who does it the best. 
You right. Michael Jordan. I don't even know who invented King T was the first rapper in Compton. Who, who invented basketball? Michael Jordan. <laughs> That's my point. That's it. There it was no basketball before Michael Jordan. <laughs> there you have it. That's my point. That's you know what I'm saying? You could have done it 10 years before me, yeah, but, but you didn't do it like absolutely. me. Absolutely. You know, she brought awareness to it, and it, and that's that's how I see it. I understand. I understand. You know, she went and so she she put her game down, so she deserved to be on the twenty dollar bill. Absolutely. As that's a matter a fact. of fact, didn't she have to knock off two of her husbands, one or two of them, because they was gonna roll over on her? That's a fact. I believe it. Hey, I ain't I'm taking nothing saying, away from Harriet. She was solid for sure. She I'm saying she should get the twenty, but I do say a brother, we should we should get one of the bills, something, throw us something. You feel me? <laughs> we'll probably give y'all something. What's your take on? I'm sure. What's your take on his I mean, comments? Well, they was kind of harsh. You know what I'm saying? That was kind of harsh. I think he's he, his mind frame though. I it's think his old school. Yes, yeah, old school. So that's why I think he came off so harsh as he did. But you know, if if it's gonna be Harriet, then it's gonna be Harriet. You Word. know what I'm saying? Well, since we on the topic, uh, <laughs> something else about the city. I want you to get you guys' opinion on this. Yeah. Uh, He's not an up and coming artist. Some might say he's a legend from 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 out here in LA. Uh, was on a popular TV show. Um, he's had a lot of antics recently on in social media, but he's making a strong comeback. I oh, uh, want to know what you guys think about this song. Uh, Is this Orlando Brown? Orlando Brown, everybody coming to America. <laughs> <laughs> I, want you. Coming to America. So I thought it was a bag. God bless America. You guys see the video? <laughs> I saw the clip of that video. Was he like at some safari park or some zoo? Exactly. And he had the tiger and the panther all rolling over him. He rapping and he touching on it and he hitting the notes. Oh, and all this. <laughs> tripping hard. I don't know what's wrong with my boy, but, you know, hopefully he get it right. I know he just got out of rehab. He was doing that whole thing with Dr. Phil. Wow. He was doing the whole, you know, rehab slash, I don't know if it was therapy or whatever the case may be. with him. Yeah, me neither, but this just dropped, so I had to see that one. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let's see what else. Your but boy I, Bill Cosby was in the news. Yes, Bill was Cosby. He yeah. In the news for what? He did an interview he from did, Yeah. From jail? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. he, he did an interview. This is the first time they say we hear his voice, and I hear him say he got eight years and some change left. Mm -hmm. And wow. it's before he can parole. And it sounds like to me. Cause you know when you go to jail, bro, before you parole, they want you to accept your role in what you did and take ownership. Mm -hmm. And he's not trying to do that. Right. Mm -hmm. People were like, "Why would I do that if I'm really innocent?" Right. But first of all, do y'all think Bill Cosby is innocent? <sighs> <laughs> Listen, man, you know how I feel about that. I feel like I don't. It's hard to say that he's. It's hard to say he's innocent. But I feel like it's not it's not it's not fair across the board. Right. Like how he how they railroaded him. Yeah, I can agree with that. Yeah, and is I, is it a railroad if you really is if you really guilty, is it a railroad if you get caught based on BS evidence? I don't know. How do we know I, I don't know if we really if he's really guilty or not. Right. I don't you know what I'm saying? Right. It's hard to believe it because it's like when I see it on the other side of the aisle, it's no accountability. So it's hard for me to be like, Yeah, Cosby did it, but I don't see nothing happen to Weinstein and nobody else. Right. So it's like, I don't know. Right. And this is exactly it's what he said. He says, I have eight more months left. He said, eight when I come up for... Eight more years and months. No, my months. bad. Eight more years and nine months uh -huh. left. Um, when I come up for parole, they're not going to hear me say that I have remorse. I was, I was there. I don't care what a group of people come along and talk about when they weren't there. They don't know. So he's basically saying, I didn't do it. Yeah, and, I'm innocent. Yeah, I don't care what they're talking about. I don't. I think Son gonna ride that out to the end. Oh, for sure. Son, this this my thing. He's. I don't, I can't necessarily say down talk, but the way he always has certain things to say about the black youth and younger black people that was up and coming at the time he was doing his thing. I never respected his angle. Mm -hmm. So it's just funny to see how the tables turn and he's behind the bars. Just just like the ones that he was kind of talking bad upon throughout his whole time you know mm -hmm. that's just the way that's why i really i don't really know what the man did mm -hmm. you know I, I can't really tell you you feel me now do i think that he probably smacked one of them girls <laughs> come on bro he had to he smacked something yeah he was he was getting into something <laughs> he was smacking something but now, when you get a group of white women coming out 20 years later accusing accusing somebody of rape is hard for me i'm not now that's bogus to convict somebody 
on on uh, without any evidence in the court of law. That's bogus as hell, right? But there is a such thing as karma. So I don't know what's hitting this man. Mm-hmm. The same thing is with R. Kelly. Yeah. People could say it's wrong what they do to R. Kelly and, and this and that and this and that. The girls that he's dealing with now is of age. But when you double back and what's that, 2004, 2003, when the tape came out, he was having sex with a young girl. Yeah. yeah. That was on tape. Yeah. So you're saying this might just be payment for, for, for that? Ain't, ain't no, no telling. telling. Mm. Ain't no telling. It ain't no telling. That, that's, just, that's just Full how the point. universe works. That's a fact. You feel me? You, you, you said so God just put Bill Cosby in jail at this age just because he did nothing? Mm. Oh, so All of this work Bill Cosby Wait. put in for God to say, take your ass to jail now? Truth is the truth. Uh. It hey, just man. depends on how you look at the world and how you feel the universe work. That's how I see it. Would you? But who said this? This guy doing this? Well, well, who got the ultimate control? The truth is the truth. Hey man, you know, hey, it's a question, <laughs> you know, you know, just, I'm, <laughs> you know, I'm hey. just asking, you know. That's my opinion, but you know, at this, it is foul that you can get just the thought of you can get convicted. Based on words and words only with no evidence, no, evidence. no nothing at all whatsoever. That's wild. That's yes. wild, man. Y'all seen Richard Pryor's son and Paul Mooney? Yeah, that's wild too. No. No? I mean, no. That was a while ago, but yeah, they said that. Yeah. He okay. just came out and starts doing interviews. Who? Richard, Richard Pryor's son. son. <laughs> yes, Richard Pryor. Long story short, allegedly, Paul Mooney. Had some sexual contact with Richard Pryor's son when he was underage. Oh. Now Paul Mooney has dementia. He's going through dementia slash Alzheimer's or something like that. So his memory is yeah. So you would never know. It's Richard Pryor Jr. right here. But his son, you and Paul Mooney had a sexual relationship back in the eighties. Is there any truth to that? I know that Paul Mooney's denied it. Well, whatever happened in my life, uh, it happened when I was young, uh, way way before the 80s. So, okay. okay, so was it a consensual relationship? How could, it be, how could any relationship be consensual if I was a teenager? Right, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So it was, it was a long time ago. Um, yeah. And Paul, Paul Mooney's denied the claim, so do you have anything you want to say to him? Well, I, no, I really have nothing to say at all about the situation. Were you aware of the of the alleged hate that your father put out on Paul Mooney uh, uh, that Rashawn Khan claims? No, I'm done. Oh, so Richard Pryor put out hate it on Paul Mooney? Back in Originally, they said that Paul, this is what Richard Pryor security came out and recently said, that when Richard Pryor found that out, he put, I guess, a hit, a large hit mm-hmm. on Paul Mooney's head. Yeah. But in between that time, Richard Pryor caught on fire mm-hmm. doing a, when he was, I guess, doing drugs, mm-hmm. and that kind of deterred the whole yeah. the whole mission. Yeah, yeah. But I, I feel like that's a terrible situation if that did happen. I feel like, especially with, I, I mean, within like the black community, that's talking about stuff like that is taboo. You know, yeah. like people don't want to talk about it. So when certain women come out and say such and such such did this, yeah. Nobody want to accept it and nobody want to believe it. Yeah. Or even men. Yeah, nobody want to accept it or nobody would believe it. Yeah. And I think that is a problem and it affects those that was actually harmed by the situation. Absolutely. Yeah. Relationship became fragile. Yep, that's the uh, security. Because Paul Mooney had f***ed Richard's son by that time. So Richard passed away in 2005. Where was his and Paul's relationship at that time? Well, <clears throat> from... Jojo Dancer on, the relationship became fragile. Okay. Because Paul Mooney had f***ed Richard's son by that time. Okay. And he violated. And that's any man, uh, if you violate their children like that. So Paul took advantage of, of the situation. And so from there on, whatever Paul Mooney was to Richard, and there was a time that Paul Mooney was Rich's friend. You know, I acknowledge that, um, which is why the gay community really couldn't say anything Mm -hmm. they attempted to about Richard because Paul Mooney was his friend. Mm -hmm. And they laughed, so when Paul did what he did, it was a violation. Wow. And they say that, I I believe Richard Pryor Jr. is actually gay too. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's it's the effects of like dealing with children and all of that stuff. You see the type of effects it has for sure. Absolutely. That's some sick shit. Hey, yeah, I got man. the ultimate question. It's my last question for y'all, right? Go 
It's the ultimate mm-hmm. question right here. Yeah, y'all take a sip of y'all drink. <laughs> yeah, get get ready. Uh, nah, I'm being no nah, real talk. Can you be pro black and date interracially? <laughs> <laughs> You already know I'm coming with it. I, can you be pro black and date interracial? <laughs> pro black and yeah. date interracial? Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, wow. Um, Because I know his stance on it. You already know what time it is. But what about Bob Marley? My bad. Go ahead. Bob Marley didn't have no white women? <laughs> huh? He probably did. His okay, mama was good. Huh? Yeah, he probably did. Go ahead. Bob <laughs> Marley was a little mixed huh? up. You feel me? No. <laughs> Even he. he <laughs> I don't have nothing to I don't what? have nothing problem with white women, okay? I'm that's cool. I don't have no problem with white women, it's all what? good. You just what? know what time it is over here. Because I'm a big I'm a big believer of love. So I believe it's possible that you can be pro black and still date outside your race. However, though, it's um yeah, I think you can be pro black and date outside your race. How is that when you're the kids that you may produce uh-huh. are not a okay. Better question. We ain't even gonna use the kids. Okay. Can you you can be pro black date outside your race? What if I'm pro black and I'm dating a white woman? Um. Or am I pro love? Or can you be pro love and I mean, pro black at the same time? Pro <laughs> love and pro black because I mean. Yeah. I. I you yeah. know what? Have you ever dated a white boy? We just gonna get straight I've never to it. Dated a white boy. Are you attracted to white men? They're handsome, yes. They're handsome. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. They're handsome. So, so you would date a white man? Um, with the shea butter and all that. You, gonna, gonna, <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you can't be making shea butter in your kitchen with a white man in your in your bedroom. And I'm just trying to put it together. How that work? I'm just saying. Um, I don't know. I mean, because. It's about like the individual, you know what I'm saying, and it's about the chemistry and it's about the soul. It's not about, it's not to me. It's not really about the looks, but I do prefer black men, though. You know what I'm saying? I prefer black men. So you can be pro black and date outside your race, is what you're saying ultimately. Oh yes. Or should we? Or should should I see? I, I, the way I look at it, I don't know if you could be pro black, but you can still be for your people. Yeah, you can be pro black and still be for your people. That's what because I, I feel like it, I, I can dig with I can dig that. Because when you say pro-black, I'm thinking if Malcolm X was alive and he walked in here with a white woman on his arm, I'm like, wait a minute. Hell no. <laughs> you exactly. can't do, Farrakhan can't do that. Right. Martin Luther King couldn't do that. You can't, you can't be how. That's a fact. That don't make sense in mm-hmm. my opinion. Mm-hmm. But I still think you'd be for your people. But you, Absolutely. you know, as far as the whole pro-black thing, I don't think you just. Uh, no. Yeah, you can't be kinda- that. Yeah, yeah, that's Somewhere. contradictory, man. Yeah, that's contradictory. You the shea butter, man. But for sure, you, know? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes, you can't indeed. put the shea butter on your uh, on your on your white boo. Uh-uh. Yes, <laughs> yeah, ain't gonna smell the same. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it ain't gonna smell the same at all. Well, look, y'all, let us know what you think. Can you be pro black and date outside your race, man? Let us know. Uh, you know, it's been real. God is good. Yes. Um, again. Make sure you support this black business. Get you some shea butter. Stop putting that lotion on. It's not good for you. Um. And we're gonna we and, and we was talking off camera. Can we come and capture how you put this together? Just the Absolutely. process of how you make it. We ain't yeah. gonna show them the ingredients. I know that's your secret sauce. You yeah. know that yeah. like the good burgers, the, the special <laughs> sauce and all that. We ain't gonna show that, but just the process of you whipping up the coconut oil and shea butter. Yeah, just the lemon mint Definitely. right here. Mm-hmm. Wait a minute, why you why you, you didn't put the why you didn't put the yellow one on the lemon mint and put the red one on this one? This oh. tropical beach. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. So, one more time, get at people your handles. Anything you want to leave them with, just let them know. Pink cashmere. Yes. So, um, follow your girl at Dimples with the Z S H A E underscore B A E. That's Dimples Shay Bay, as well as at Whipped by Shay W H I P P E D B B Y S H A Y for the Shea butter. Um, and I would just like to leave you guys with, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, be kind to yourself. It's a, it's an individual affair, always have been an individual affair, and your journey is your journey. Your journey is not going to look like somebody else's. So mm. do your best to do the best you, mm. period. And one love. I love you all. Mm. <laughs> Thank you guys Look, for having me, King. Not a problem. You already, already know where to follow me at personal page, brother producer for business page, slap it or trash it, man. One thing I want to say is, just to double back on what she was saying, just believe in yourself. Yeah. 
believe in yourself, bro. If if the job you working at, somebody own that. Yeah. Real talk. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's an actual person that created that. Yep. If he can do that, what makes you think you can't do that? Yep. Period. Fact. Just believe in yourself. Peace what song is this we going out to, man? Come on, man. That's that Mozzie, the new Mozzie on the Sioux Surf. Mozzie and Sue Surf featuring uh, What's my boy name is featuring Let me get that right first man Y'all gotta go check out that Mozzie and Sue Surf That's hot Featuring uh, TJ3K There you go There yes, we indeed. have it then TJ3K and, and Sue Surf There it is man Peace and love podcast We've been here tomorrow We got two guests tomorrow man Thanksgiving's on Thursday Y'all be good God is good Kiss your mama Get you some shea butter. Yes. Don't wow. try to, yeah, don't Get try to butter. put none on your white boys. If you got a white man, don't put no shea butter on your white man. Get your butter, man. <laughs> there it is, though, man. Peace of love. Y'all be good. Yeah. Peace and love. Peace and love. Peace. Peace and love. 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 Peace and love.